Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Unity. Yeah. One body, one mind. One mind, one spirit. One spirit, one mind. Gotta make the world feel it. One body, one mind. One mind, one spirit. One spirit, one mind. Gotta make the world feel it. This class is called Murmurers Are Heard by God. Mm. Murmurers are heard by by God. That's, that's crazy. Shoe flying across the room somewhere. Somebody gonna get hit tonight. Somebody gonna get hit. <laughs> Somebody gonna get hit. Yeah, I'm done. Let's look up the definition of murmur. Let's read that. Murmur. Noun. A half suppressed or muttered complaint. A half suppressed or muttered complaint. Read on. Grumbling. Go to the synonyms. Synonyms. Beef. Mm -hmm. Bitch. Mm, wait a minute. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. You want to say? Nah, we, nah, we ain't, we ain't going to say it again. <laughs> Everybody heard it. Trust me. Oh, that, oh, a, That's a word that'll wake a woman out of sleep. <laughs> Uh, go to complaint. Click click on complaint. And let's read that definition. Complaint. Noun. Expression of grief, pain, or dissatisfaction. Read on. Keep going. Something that is the cause or subject of protest or outcry. Mm -hmm. A bodily ailment or disease. Go to the synonym. Synonyms. Beef. Same thing. Go to where it says, uh, oh, I, I read them. Fuss, grievance, gripe, grouch. Gr Did I say that? Gross, gross, grouse, grumble, gross. holler. I don't know how to say the next one. Is that K silent? That? Lament, moan, murmur, squawk, whimper, whine. Go to Proverbs 16 and 3. Murmuring is complaining all the time. Just can't stop complaining. Get told to do something, you complain under your breath. You complain in your mind. Your husband tell you to do something, you complain. And you know what's crazy? We think that we getting away with murmuring because we don't say it openly in front of that person. But God is hearing you. Proverbs 16 and 3. The book of Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 3. Here's the proof God is hearing you. Go. Commit thy works unto the Lord mm -hmm. and thy thoughts shall be established. God says when you commit your works, your actions to God your thoughts will be established. That means the Lord will give you wisdom to be able to deal righteously within your own thoughts, within your own brain, your speech, your imagination. The Lord will give you wisdom to even deal with that when you are established. Read it again. Commit thy works unto the Lord. Commit thy works unto God, your actions, your purpose. Commit it to God. Read. And thy thoughts shall be established. Pray for the Lord to establish your thoughts. Pray to the Lord to establish your thoughts. Give you wisdom. Give you understanding. Give you the fear of him to be able to make sure your thoughts are righteous. Why? Get Mark 7. This is why you got to pray to the Lord to help you with your thoughts. Mark 7, 21. The book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 21. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Out of the mind of men, 
perceive evil thoughts. Read on. Adulteries. Adulteries. Fornication. God says these are the thoughts that men have, women have. Read. Murders. Murders. Thefts. Thefts. Covetousness. Read. Wickedness. Come on. Deceit. Deceit. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. An evil eye. And an evil eye. Blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Pride. Mm -hmm. Foolishness. Foolishness. All these things is in our minds every day we deal with all these spirits. Every single day. Every day we deal with fornication thoughts. Adultery thoughts. Wicked thoughts. Every day we deal with that thing. Every day. Brothers and sisters may not admit to it openly, but you know in your mind what you deal with. You know. Seeing Big Booty Bessie every day. Mm -hmm. Big Booty Bessie give you that eye every day. And you got to fight that thing. Slide a number to you. Yeah, That's right. Slide a number to you. You, like, you look at it. Call me. What the hell is this? Yeah. Crumble that thing up and toss it in the truck. Yeah, you trip. But your mind... That mind say, oh, nobody would ever find out. Right. That's what your mind say. Right. Your mind will say, oh, man, she don't even know I'm an issue. The Lord say your mind is evil, man, desperately wicked. Read on. All these evil things. All these evil things. Come from within. Come from within. Watch this. And defile the man. All those evil thoughts come from within and defile you. That lets you know everything start off with your thoughts. You, and you know how you know how people you know how people get caught, right? What's the first thing they say? Anybody know? Huh? What they say? It wasn't me. No, they don't say that. What they say, Elijah? Brother, but thinking about the song. Call me in the shower. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. What they say? It's, you, they usually they use a deflective text. They usually blame the person. Nope. Well, like, bro, what you doing at this sister house? She married. What you doing? I don't know how it happened. <laughs> bro, what, what you doing? This sister on top. Y'all in the bed together. Oh, I just woke up like this. Oh, damn. We had a brother say. Beyonce now. Hey, we had a brother say. <laughs> the brother got caught cheating on his wife. The sister was giving him. Um, yeah. Okay, we got no kids in here. The sister, hmm? You see? The si I know your daughter. I don't want to, you know, how you is. <laughs> I'm not fellatio. That's the terminology of it. You, you bougie, huh? Fellatio? Is that the terminology? But y'all know what yeah, fellatio is? Yes. So Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so the brothers say, I just woke up like this, and she was doing it. I just woke up, and she was giving me fellatio. I couldn't stop her. She was for she forced me to. She forced her <laughs> mouth on me. This is a true story. Brother says she forced her mouth onto him, and he could not stop her because she was too strong. Oh. Brother, what is going? On? So why watch it now? Now you gotta ask. Well, how did y'all even get together? So you gotta you, you gotta cut off all the bull crap. Okay, all right, brother. She's too strong. How did y'all end up in the same bed? How did y'all end up in the same house? Mm, now the truth come out. The truth come out. I let you know. Everything starts with a thought. Everything starts with a thought. Uh, go to Jeremiah 17 now. Everything starts with a thought. Huh? Uh, yeah. So when, when, you, when you read the scripture, um, when, when, when you just read the scripture where it says Mark, Mark 7, 21, uh, it comes from within and defiles the man. What defiles it is that we don't check that. We don't check the thoughts. You allow those thoughts to run rampant in your mind. You, you allow those thoughts to run in your head freely. That's what makes it wicked. By you not checking those thoughts, just like Cap was saying, we deal with those things every day. But if you don't check those thoughts, that's where you end up 
falling into wickedness and evil. Hey, because brothers are weak, man. Brothers are weak. When you ain't got control over yourself, you ain't got control over your lust, right. you weak. And That's sisters evil. know that. Women know that. Women know that. They know all they right. got to do is just, you know, shake it a little bit. Right. Got him! A whisper in the ear. You're done. It's, it's over. over. It's over. It's over. You got to control that thought. Control your lust. Whatever Check. you're dealing with, you got to control it. Check That's it. why the Lord right. say, put your works to him, establish it, and he'll establish your thoughts. Uh, Jeremiah 17, 9. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 9. Read. The heart is deceitful. The heart, we just read in Mark 7, is your mind dealing with your thoughts. The heart is deceitful. Watch this. Above all things. God says your mind is deceitful above all things. Above everything out there that's evil, your mind is the evilest thing. Some thoughts that we have, we can't even tell nobody. I don't know what I'm talking about. Some thoughts we have in our mind, we're like, I ain't tell nobody this thought. No, I'm going to be looked at like a crazy man. Like some wrong with me. But we all have those thoughts. Why? Read it again. The heart is deceitful above all things. Above all things, the heart is evil. Watch this. And desperately wicked. Your heart is desperately wicked. That means it looks for sin. It looks. Brothers, I'm going to give you an example. Y'all ever was in your car with your wife in the car with you? And you, you driving, right? And in the distance, you can see a, you can see all you see is a big booty in the distance, right? And you tell yourself, I ain't gonna look when I pass by. I ain't gonna look. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. And then you drive by, and you don't look, but your mind tell you, look in that rear view. <laughs> look in that rear view. Look in that side mirror. And what you do? Damn. Tell you your mind is desperately evil, man. <laughs> the, your mind will tell you, look, 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 look. Hurry up, fuck you too far. Look, look, look. <laughs> Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, you know what else? You know what else brothers will do? Brothers are going to a restaurant, right? Brothers are going to a, no brothers a, a brothers go to Walmart. Brothers being Walmart shopping. That's why I don't go shopping. That's why I hate shopping. Because my mind is desperately evil. Brothers get the brothers get the, the cart. Sisters do this too. I got a story about sisters. Brothers get a cart. He at aisle one. He trying to go to aisle 20. But he looked down aisle four and all he see is booty. So what he do? He pass aisle four. He go down aisle five, come back around <laughs> to aisle four like he needs something in that aisle. <laughs> you don't need nothing now for man. <laughs> Easy one to see. Y'all brothers know I'm right. No, come on, man. Come on now. Y'all brothers know I'm right. You will go back down that aisle just to see if what you saw from a distance is bigger up close. Y'all brothers know what I'm talking about, man. Just to know, get a closer look. Just to get a closer look. Just to be close <laughs> to you, girl. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm going to tell you what sisters do. Sisters. Jesus. Sisters will see a brother jogging with no shirt on. Yeah, you know, you know the real fit brothers. See, we ain't fit. We, we, we ain't fit yet. Nah, nah. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't fit yet. Nah. Don, you look like you fit. You not that fit? Nah. But I'm talking about the sweat <laughs> down the chest fit. You know, you know what the we, brothers be we, running? We ain't there yet. And the sweat just be glistening off and sisters, sisters say, oh, we need a flyer. Get a flyer. We need to get him in the truth. <laughs> Really, sister? Out of all the brothers out here that you could give a fly to, you want the one with the glistening sweat running he down his chest? Gotta repent. We got to get him to repent. 
But that's that that goes into our mind being desperately evil, man. Desperately evil, desperately wicked. I mean, it 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 looks for sin. It reaches out, and then it will lie. You your mind will lie to you. Y'all ever y'all ever had that voice in your head that you lose to all the time? You know, it's two voices in your head. You got your righteous man voice, and then you got your evil nigga voice. You got your righteous woman voice. You got your evil nigga woman voice. Where you think they get it from when they got the angel on one shoulder, the devil on the other shoulder? That's that spirit against the flesh. Battling all the time, every day, 24-7. Battling. But we got to learn how to fight that thing. Uh, Go to Isaiah 26 and 3. We got to learn how to fight it, y'all. The book of Isaiah, chapter 26 and verse 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on thee. Uh Uh-oh. Your mind got to be stayed on Christ. Your mind got to be stayed on Christ. Read on. Because he trusted in thee. Because he trusted in thee. Give me Philippians 2 and 1. Got to read a little quicker, Hasidah. Sir. Give me Philippians 2 and 1. So it says, whose mind is stayed on God. Watch this. Philippians 2 and 1. Read. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 1. Go ahead. If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, Go ahead. if a, any comfort of love, any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, watch this, if any bows and mercies, uh-huh. fulfill ye my joy, Read. that ye be like minded, come on, having the same love, having what? Having the same love, Read. being of one accord, being of one accord, of one mind, of one mind, let nothing be done through strife. Stop. Remember, it says, whose mind is stayed on God. Whose mind is stayed on God. Jump to verse 5. Verse 5. Let this mind be in you. Let's what? Let this mind be in you. Read on. Which was also in Christ. So now we're going to jump up to read what Christ's mind was like. We're going to jump up. Read verse 3 again. We're going we to go over the attributes of of Christ's mind that our mind should be. Read. Verse 3. Let nothing be done through strife. Strife. Or oh. vain glory. Vain glory. But in lowliness, lowliness of mind. Of mind. Let each esteem other better than themselves. So these are the things that Christ's mind. He didn't have strife. He didn't have vain glory, but he had lowliness and he esteemed others greater than himself. Let's look up the definition of strife. God says, don't let strife into your mind. Read. Strife. Noun. A bitter, sometimes violent conflict or dissension. Conflict or decision, meaning separation. Go to the synonyms. Fight, struggle. Discord. God, Christ said, that wasn't in my mind. Discord wasn't in Christ's mind. Go to vainglory. Vain glory, noun, excessive or ostentatious pride, especially in one's achievements. Watch this. Go to the synonym. Watch this. I'm going to show y'all something. Y'all says, Christ, I didn't have vain glory in my mind. Watch this. Go click on self-assumption. Self-assumption, noun. Self-conceit. Self-conceit. Click on that. Watch this. Self-conceit. Now, an exaggerated opinion of one's own qualities or abilities. You bigger yourself up when you are nothing. An exaggerated opinion of one's own qualities or abilities. You, you know what an example of that is? You telling somebody... You telling your wife to do it your way, but she says in her mind, my abilities to do it better is what I'm going to do so that I can get the glory. Are you telling a brother, hey, this is the way we're going to run things. The brother say, no, we're going to run it my way. So when I succeed, I can get the glory. That's vainglory. 
You wouldn't say he would do it through his actions. Oh, so you in the spirit. He would do it through his actions. You in the spirit. And watch this. But where does it start? The mind. Right there. Go to lowliness. So Christ said we got to be low. We got to have lowliness, right? Lowliness of heart. Go to the definition of lowly. Read that. Lowly. Adverb. In a humble or meek manner. In a humble or meek manner. Go down to the uh, adjective. Adjective. Humble in manner or spirit. Uh -huh. Free from self-assertive pride. Self-assertive pride. You bigging yourself up. Self-assertive. God says you got to be free from that spirit. You can't have no vainglory spirit. Remember, Christ said the greatest among you shall be what, brothers? A servant. Go to esteem. Let's see what esteem means. See if we esteeming each other. Did you want the noun? The verb. The verb. Esteem. Verb. To set a high value on. Regard highly and prize accordingly. Go to the synonym. Synonyms, verb, account, call, Go ahead. consider, mm -hmm. count, hold, look on or upon. Go to the noun synonyms. Noun, account, admiration, appreciation, estimation. Watch this. Favor. Favor. Go ahead. Regard. Regard. Go ahead. Respect. Who in here goes around telling their sisters and brothers how much they appreciate them? I appreciate you, sister. I appreciate you even making it to the Sabbath. Brother, I appreciate you making it to the Sabbath, man. I missed you. I ain't seen you in a whole week. Y'all know we only see each other once a week? I mean, all praise to the most high. The Lord gave you mercy and grace just so that I can see you again. That's esteeming someone greater than yourself. Favor. I'm putting your life over mine. I'm esteeming you greater than admiration. Ad, hey, click on admiration. Admiration. Noun. A feeling of respect and approval. Which one of y'all looks for good in your brothers and sisters? Just to compliment them. You know what? Um, I saw, I saw, man. You, you, you did your thing. You was on that teacher. All praise. I watched the video. You talk damn good, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all. Since y'all don't know what that do to brothers, you tell your hu let your husband walk on when you watching him teaching that camp. I'm gonna tell you right now, y'all will not make it through the video. It's been real. Let your husband walk in on you watching him at camp. And you writing notes from his precepts. Ow! Oh. And then he come in, you just start, my Lord, damn, you talk good. Does that happen? It's nope. That. We watch everybody else's videos but our own husband's videos. Isn't that something? Brother, so-and-so brought it out! Right. <laughs> hey, my Lord, you need to watch this video! <laughs> Oh, you know what they say? No. You know what they say? Can I share this video on the sisterhood chat? Right. How about you show your husband's video? Damn. That's just something to think about. That's that admiration. That's that admiration. Go back to the definition. Ad admiration. A feeling of respect and approval. Number two. An object of esteem. An object of esteem. Why don't you admire the good things your husband do instead of revealing the bad things about him? Your husband don't even know what he good at. <laughs> you ain't never told him. Damn, what I do good? Not everything I do bad. Or your wife don't even know what she good at doing. You ain't never told him. Sister, sister don't know what she good at. Cause nobody never told her. Instead of saying, you know what, sis, that bread you made, damn, that was good. Just those, just little things like that can uplift sister spirits. Just those little things, sis. Dang, sis, you made that dress. 
You know how to sew thing. Look at your lines and your ribbon of blue. You inside the blue. <laughs> Y'all know some of the lines be outside the blue. Some of the blues be hanging off. Yeah. <laughs> the blue be folding. But the lines so checked up. <laughs> Sis, look at your hair wrap. You need to teach me how to do my hair wrap like yours. Sis, look at your makeup. Can you do my makeup next Sabbath? Right. Can you make can you decorate my face next Sabbath? I'm trying to look good too. That's admiration. That's esteeming somebody greater than yourself. But what sisters do? Sister will come in here. They make up be on uh what's the word I'm looking for? What they say they make up be on fleet? Is that is, that, fleek, is, is yeah. that is that how the young generation say it? Yeah, I believe so. They so, make up be on fleet. Fleek. They make up be on fleet and then they see a sister looking like Aunt Jemima. Won't put a sister say, hey, sis, I can do your makeup for you. I got you. You want makeup? You want makeup, sister? No, I want makeup because I don't know how to do it. I got you, sis. Next Sabbath, get you right. We will allow our sisters to go around looking like doggone. Give me some nice words. Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima. <laughs> That's probably the nicest you can get. Hey, oh. brothers too. Brothers will come to the school, got a fresh cut. Clean. Clean. And see your brother looking like doggone uh, Mandingo. Nat Turner. Look at, right. <laughs> looking like Nat Turner. And won't he give the brother the the the, 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 uh, the, the connect the on, the bomb, on the bomber side? Won't he give the brother oh, the hookup? Bro, where you get oh, your man, cut from, you bro? Bro, who hooked you up? Come on. <laughs> Don't even holler at the boy. Hey, bro, we need to talk. God, me. The book of Philippians, chapter 2 and verse 14. Watch this. Do all things without murmuring. Do some things. All things. A little things. All things. But I'm tired. All things. But I want to go to bed. All things. I ain't hungry. All things. There's nothing to cook in the fridge. All things. I don't want to go to work. All things. I don't want to pay the rent. All things. God said do what? Read it. Do all things without murmuring. God says do all things without complaining. That's a law in the Bible. That's a biblical law. God says, stop complaining. That's why I know God is black. I don't want to hear your complaints. Right. I don't want to hear it. Save it for the birds. I don't want to hear it. Stop your complaining. Whatever I tell you to do, you need to do it with all joyfulness. Keep your complaints to yourself. And even then, you're going to get judged for it. You complain when you believe you can do better. You complain. When you believe the Lord is not dealing with that person who just gave you an order. You complain when you murmur, when you are, was right? When you are looking to exit stage left. I wish I'm from the murmurs all the time, just complaining, complaining. Why I gotta do this? Why I gotta do that? Why I gotta do that? Why I can't do this? Why I can't do that? Why I can't do brother, sister. If you don't like the order, you can go. You just watch online. It's going to be all right. Or else we'll, we'll see you in the kingdom. People complain when Jesus' words means nothing to them. Jesus' words means nothing to you, so you complain. Let's prove it. Get Exodus 16 and 8. We are the most complaining people in the world. We will complain Ooh, ooh, I'm a, I know y'all done been through this scenario before. You didn't run that red light. The red light was yellow and you slowed down instead of running it. And the person in the car tell you why you ain't running the light. <laughs> why you ain't take it. Yeah, I'm trying to save your life. We all been through that. Uh, where I say go? Exodus. Yeah, Exodus 16. Watch this. This was us in the wilderness, right? This was us in the wilderness. Let's see how we were in the wilderness. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 16 and verse 8. And Moses said, 
This shall be when the Lord shall give you in the evening flesh to eat, and in the morning bread to the full, for that the Lord heareth your murmuring. You do what? Heareth your murmuring. The Lord said He hears when you murmur against His people, against His prophets, against His leaders, against your husband. The Lord hear you murmuring. We don't think the Lord hears us. We think if we said under our breath, man, why I gotta listen to this nigga? Say it in your mind. Uh, Angel, write that down. Write, write all the murmuring that he doing down. Write all the murmuring she doing down. For that time, when we open up them books, you're going to be judged for that. She's going to be judged for that. Read. Which ye murmur against him. Against who? Against him. Because when you murmur against your leadership, your husband, you murmuring against God. Read. And what are we? Your murmurings are not against us. What did Moses say? Your murmurings are not against us. Your murmurings ain't, ain't against us, read. But against the Lord. Why can't they get, I don't know why people say I'm mean. I don't get that. I'm not mean. I'm, I'm very joyful. Very joyful, right? I'm not, I'm not mean. So why can't they get so mean? Why you got to do it like that? Just, I'm just real with you. Really, oh, Captain God ain't never happy. <laughs> he ain't never satisfied. Can't do nothing right. Well, then you got to self-examine that. If you feel like you can't do nothing right, it's probably because what you're doing is not right. Read. And Moses spake unto Aaron, say unto all the congregation. Of Watch the this. Of the children of Israel. Read. Come near before the Lord. Come near. Watch this. For he hath heard. He have what? He hath heard. Come on. Your murmuring. Murmurings are heard by God. But you know, Moses didn't hear they murmur. Moses said, come near. God heard y'all. I think y'all getting away. God heard your murmuring. Go to Numbers 11 and 1. I'll speed it up. The Bible said, God hears your murmurs. Your complaints, your grievances that you got. God hears that thing. You can't hide from God. Numbers 11 and 1. The book of Numbers, chapter 11 and verse 1. Read. And when the people complained, it displeased the when Lord. The people what? Complained. When the people murmured, it displeased the Lord. It got God angry. It got God. God became very distraught, angry. It displeased the Lord. To hear his children murmur, read. And the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled. The Lord did what? And the Lord heard the it. The Lord heard the murmuring. Come on. And his anger was kindled. And his anger was enhanced. His anger grew. Because the Lord heard the murmuring of his people, read. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them mm -hmm. and consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. The Lord killed those that were murmuring. Read. And the people cried unto Moses. And when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched. What they did, they cried unto Moses. Now they want to go to Moses now. When the Lord touched their behind, now they, now they want somebody to anoint their head with oil and pray for them. Oh, wait a minute. I, I was just a nigga the other day. Read. And he called the name of the place Taborah. Go ahead. Because the fire of the Lord burnt among them. The fire of the Lord burnt amongst them. Get Matthew 12 and 22. What's this? I'll speed it up. Get Matthew 12, 22. The book of Matthew, chapter 12 and verse 22. Read. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, uh -huh. blind and dumb, and he healed him. And, and Christ did what? And he healed them. Christ healed them. Watch this. In so much that the blind and dumb both spake and saw. Go ahead. And all the people were amazed. All the people were amazed. And said, is this the son of David? And they said, is this the son of David? Read. But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, this fellow doth not cast out devils. So what were they doing, y'all? What were they doing? They were murmuring. Read it again. But Your brothers ain't lost, man. Don't get lost in the sauce. Read. But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, 
This fellow doth not cast out devils, mm -hmm. but by Beelzebub. But by Beelzebub. The prince of the devils. Watch this. And Jesus knew their thoughts. And, and said, what? And Jesus knew their thoughts. And what? And Jesus knew their thoughts. And Jesus knew their thoughts. Jesus knew their thoughts. Jesus heard their thoughts. Genesis 6 and 5. The book of Genesis, chapter 6 and verse 5. Read. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Go ahead. And that every imagination. Every of, imagination. Of the thoughts. Of the thoughts. Of his heart. Read. Was only evil. God says the thoughts of men at that time was only evil. So God knew what I thought. He knew the thoughts. First Chronicles 28, 1. The book of First Chronicles, chapter 28 and verse 1. Read. And David assembled all the princes of Israel and the, pr the princes of the tribes mm -hmm. and the captains of the companies that ministered to the king by courts and the captains over the thousands and captains over the hundreds and the stewards over all the substance and the possessions of the king and of his sons with the officers and with the mighty men and with all the valiant men unto Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Then David the king stood up on his feet and said, Hear me, my brethren and my people. As for me, I had in mine heart to build an, an house of rest Read. for the ark of the covenant. What verse of, you at? Verse 2. Uh, jump to verse 8. Verse 8. Now therefore, in the sight of all Israel, mm -hmm. the congregation of the Lord, and in the audience of our God, Go ahead. keep and seek for all the commandments of mm -hmm. the Lord your God, mm -hmm. that ye may possess this good land. And leave it for an inheritance for your children after you Read. forever. Read. And thou, Solomon, my son, know thou the God of thy father, mm -hmm. and serve him with a perfect heart. With a what? With a perfect heart. Read. And with a willing mind. With a willing mind. For the Lord searcheth all hearts. He does what? For the Lord searcheth all hearts. The Lord says he searches all minds, thoughts, imaginations. The Lord searches all thoughts, all hearts. Is that it? And understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. And the Lord said he understandeth all your imaginations. You thought you could get away with imagining evil against that sister. Imagining evil against your leadership. Imagining evil against your brother. Imagining evil against your husband, your wife. Imagining evil. You think you're going to, you think you're going to get away with that because it's a thought? You're going to be judged for that. You're going to be judged for your thoughts. You got to learn how to control them. Isaiah 59 and 1. We're going to speed it up. Give me Jeremiah 4 and 14. Jeremiah 4 and 14. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness. Jerusalem, Israel, wash your heart from wickedness. Wash your mind from wickedness. Read. That thou mayest be saved. That thou mayest be what? Saved. That let you know that you're going to be judged if you don't wash your mind. If you don't wash your thoughts, you're going to be born again. You're going to be judged for that. Murmuring will get you judged. Whether or not you said it loudly or in your thoughts, God going to judge you for that. If you don't wash that, if you don't wash that old man, that old woman away. Read. That thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? How long shall thy vain thoughts stick within you? Meaning that you're not even fighting against that thing. Every chance you get, every time you see your husband. Every time. That nigga. Every time you see your, your, your leadership. That nigga. Shalom. I said, your vain thought, how long that's going to be within you? Let that stuff go. Isaiah 55 and 7. We almost done. I'm going to speed it up. because Isaiah 55 and 7. The book of Isaiah, chapter 55 and verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his ways. Uh-huh. And the unrighteous the man. The unrighteousness. His thoughts. His what? His thoughts. Unrighteousness forsake your thoughts. 
forsake your thoughts, them evil thoughts, them evil. You got to push that stuff immediately. Soon they come about in your mind, you got to rebuke that thing. Hey, Lord, forgive me. Lord, give me the strength. Lord, take this away from me. I'm battling it. I don't want to die because of my thoughts. Lord, help me. Show more mercy, more grace, Lord. I need help. Christ, take this away from me. Pray fast. Don't give in to that thing. You done? And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. Mm -hmm. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Hebrews 4 and 12. It says return, the Lord will have mercy. That means you let the Lord know you're trying to fight. Lord, I, don't, I know this is evil, evil thought. I'm trying to fight. I repent. I repent from, from thinking that thought. Lord, I repent, Lord. Please forgive me. I repent, Lord. I called my husband a nigga. I repent, Lord. I called my wife a female dog. In my mind, under my breath. Lord, I repent, Lord. I despise your leadership. Lord, I repent. Help me. Read. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful Go ahead. and sharper than any two-edged sword. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Read. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Watch this. And of the joints and marrow. Mm -hmm. And is a discerner. Is a discerner. Of the thoughts. And intent of the heart. The Bible said that the word of God discern your thoughts. It gives speech to your intentions. If you're trying to hide being evil, the word going to bring it out. You're trying to hide hatred towards your husband, your wife, towards your leadership. The word going to bring it out. It's going to show. Get Jude one sixteen. So, brothers and sisters, don't forget that murmurers are heard by God. You may be able to hide it from your fellow sister, your fellow brother, your wife, your husband, your leadership. But you ain't hiding the murmurs from God. God hear that thing. And he said, I'm going to judge you for it. If you don't repent, I'm going to judge you for it. But because Israel ain't judged right away, they don't think that murmuring is a sin. They don't think that murmuring will get your behind put to death, but it will. It will. Jude 1, 16. The book of Jude, chapter 1 and verse 16. These are murmurers, complainers, mm -hmm. walking after their own lust. And that's what murmurers do. You walk after your own lust to where you can't even fight it. You can't fight that thought. Go ahead. And their mouth speaketh great swelling words, Read. having men's persons in admiration mm -hmm. because of advantage. This is Route 23, last scripture. This is Route 23. One verse one, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's Route 23, 19. The book of Ecclesiasticus, Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter 23 and verse 19. Go ahead. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. Men and women that murmur, they only fear the eyes of men. That means I don't like you, but I don't want you to hear me say I don't like you. Because I, I fear your eyes. I don't want confrontation. Read on. And knoweth not. Knoweth not. That the eyes of the Lord. The eyes of God. Are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. The Bible say, oh, you think you can hide it? I can see you through anything. Oh, 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 you think you're getting away? You and your husband at the, at the house murmuring? You and your friend, your, your buddy, buddy, sister at the house murmuring? You two brothers at the house murmuring? Oh, you think you're getting away? The Lord said, I see that thing. Is that it? Beholding all the ways of men mm -hmm. and considering the most secret parts. The most secret parts, your mind. They get more secret than your own thoughts. <laughs> they get more secretive than that. Right? So here's your man. Hey, it was real short, short class. This is something I wanted to bring out. Um, beware of the murmuring. Don't be murmuring, y'all. Don't be murmuring. 
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.